we all enjoy rain but have you ever wonder how this water falls on the earth and in what form any form of water that falls to the earth's surface from clouds is called precipitation it occurs in different form the type of precipitation depends on both the conditions inside the clouds and the conditions of the air between the clouds and the ground precipitation normally occurs in four forms rain sleet snow and hail these forms of precipitation not fall in each and every part of the world let's find out which forms are common in the area where you live so the first one is rain drops of liquid water are rain this is the most common form of precipitation rain can form when tiny cloud droplets combine cloud droplets can be millions of times smaller than the rain drops so a great number of these droplets must combine to form a rain drop which is large enough and heavy enough to fall to the ground if the droplets fall through the air that is warmer than the water's freezing point they reach the ground as rain rain can also begin as ice crystal the crystals melt as they fall through the warm air producing rain drops second form is called sleet it consists of clear and translucent particles of ice sleet started in the form of ice crystals from the clouds if the temperature between the clouds and the ground is warm enough these ice crystals melt partially or totally and become more like raindrops these raindrops when reach the colder layer of the air near the surface refreeze again it falls to the surface in the form of raindrop size ice pellets called sleet third form is called snow small flakes and pellets of ice make up snow snow flakes are produced when the temperature in the cloud is cold enough for water vapors to form ice crystals the type of snow that falls depend on the temperature of the clouds light fluffy snowflakes form when the temperature is very low warmer temperatures produce heavy wet snowflakes snowflakes can form in different shapes third form is called hail hail is made up of round chunks of ice called hailstones hailstones form when drops of rain freezes inside a cloud with strong updraft winds if the winds are strong enough they lift the hailstone through the inside of the cloud a hailstone may rise and fall many times each time gaining a new icy coat finally when the hailstone is too heavy for the wind to lift it falls to the ground the largest documented hailstone weighed more than 1 and 1/2 pounds the total precipitation in a particular place depends on some weather condition too like temperature pressure wind humidity and other factors hope you enjoyed the lesson today please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching